Temperature changes and heat capacity. Suppose you find a copper penny, minted pre-1982, when pennies were almost entirely copper, in the snow. How much heat is absorbed by the penny as it warms? From the temperature of the snow, which is minus 8.0 degrees C, to the temperature of your body, 37.0 degrees C. Assume the penny is pure copper and has a mass of 3.10 grams. So we have the mass of the copper that is 3.10 grams. We have an initial temperature of minus 8.0 degrees C and we have a final temperature of 37.0 degrees C and we're asked to find the heat absorbed Q of the copper penny as it warms to body temperature. In our conceptual plan, we realize that heat is linked to a quantity, in this case mass, of copper and a temperature change, delta T, by the heat capacity represented by Cs. And the relationship, then, is that the heat absorbed is going to be equal to the mass times the heat capacity times the temperature change which is T final minus T initial. We need to look up the value of the heat capacity of copper and we find that it is 0 0.385 joules per gram degree Celsius. So now we're ready to solve the problem. We need the delta T temperature change is T final minus T initial temperature winds up at 37.0 degrees C and from that we will subtract the initial temperature of minus 8.0 degrees C and that's a total energy change of 45.0 degrees C. Q, the heat absorbed then, is the quantity of copper, 3.10 gram, times the heat capacity, 0 0.385 joules per gram degree C. So the grams cancel. And then times the temperature change of 45.0 degrees C. The degrees C cancel and we get an answer of 53.7 joules. Checking our answer We have an answer in joules, and that's correct. That's a unit of, 
of heat. And the sign is positive, as it should be, because the penny is absorbing heat from the surroundings.